All right, after a bit of running around, we're back here, ready to set this place up. I don't see um, Clover anywhere. So hopefully she she's actually here, but I mean, something that confuses me is that the Pridwin shows one person, which I think is Clover. But then Boston Airport is the actual, um, actual place? Uh, no. But maybe if I set her up, oh, if I set her up as the um, mayor, she'll just appear here. So, a sign. Next. 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 Clover, you're in charge. There may not actually be any any city plans. Hmm. All right. Well then, we're gonna dismiss Clover. Well, let me see if there is a city plan. Nope. Okay. Clover, you're dismissed. So. Fredwin couldn't count as a as a settlement, could it? I'm gonna try to find Clover. Okay, so it looks like um, Boston Airport and the Fredwin are the same location, according to the game. But you can't have any um, any settlers here, and so therefore you can't send out any supply lines. But it can accept supply lines so that you can use it for like you know building your interceptor and stuff. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna stash this thing. So yeah, I'll just oh I guess I I have to scrap it. Alright, well scrap it. And then we're gonna put down our interceptor. And look we've got access to all the junk, so that's good. Put it out here in the middle. that lined up well? Maybe not quite. That's pretty good, alright. What else did I need to do? Do I need to go back and talk to um, Ingram now? Ingram! I put down the platform. Have you figured out the rest? Why can't you just go stand over there? I glued a bunch of parts together and hoped for the best. Good enough? Hey, you're the one that's gonna be standing on it. If it blows up, it's gonna hurt you a lot more than it'll hurt me. Fair There's enough. There's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Great. Thanks. Wow. That's quite a list. It might take me a while to find everything. It's fine. It'll take me a while to figure out how to make this crazy contraption work. Oh. One last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. Oh good, she's actually gonna go over there. Night, but I think we're both going to need it. Right, so might I'll need to set up all the other pieces as well as a power grid. It's a robot workbench, that is not the thing. That's a satellite dish. There we go, that, that'll do it. Actually... Oh! Spin, spin, spin! I wanna set it up so that it's facing this way as you come in. This should be good. Look, look at that! Okay. That can go in here. And then a 
relay dish. Do we have anything we could put it on top of? No. It'll look better up high, but let's stick it back over here. Okay. Let's wire this to that. And that doesn't that just requires passive power, okay? Right, generators. We need, what, 25, I think? A oh, fusion generator would do it, but we don't need that much power here. Just do two large and a medium generator, or even just three generators. Okay, what does this take? Gear, screws, rubber, copper, aluminum. Would it be worth it to just build one of these. 10 copper. This takes 20 copper. 8 crystal. I think overall the fusion generator takes more. Oh, I can't because I don't have the science anyway. And I can't build that because I don't have the science. Alright, we're just going to have a whole row of medium generators. We're going to build these. One, two, actually I guess I should count them by fives, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Fire them up. I think that is it. That's 20 here, and that is 5 over here, right? She's using it, so I can't even like... You know what? I don't like how dark it is out here. I'm gonna get like some uh, street lights or something. Uh, I'm gonna need more power. Let's get one more generator. Fit in over there? Probably not. There we go. Let's do that. And what would be the best lighting setup for right here? Oh, there's lots of crap. That's too much crap. Okay, none of those. I'm just gonna do the street light. Some on either side of here. So light this place up nice. Okay. We might be pulling too much power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up pulling too much power. That's okay. We can fix it. Yep, yeah, see that shut off. Okay. Yes. All right. Look at this sciency fancy place. Is there more? Maybe there was more that I needed to put in. Isn't that like a console or something? Oh yeah, there is a control console, and it requires two. There 
Alright, we'll stick that over here. Maybe I should put down something to... to cover this area up. Quite right. Uh, perfectionism. And we'll just need. <laughs> there we go. Just doing too much. <laughs> Do that. Sure. Pull some power down to this. Also get a little connector up here. I don't know why it's gonna float like that. Oh, it's not floating. Okay. Uh, uh, set up properly. Actually, maybe I'll just put this off to the side a bit, so it's not quite as ugly where it is. There you go, look, you can see now. Oh man. Ingram, what do you think of this? You want a chair? Oh, I, I guess I should have thought of that. Here's your uh, captain's chair. Oh man. Now this, this is a proper workstation. Ingram, what do you think? Proctor Ingram. Maxon's waiting to talk to you, and I'm not throwing the switch until he gives us the go-ahead. Of course. Okay. Well, let's go up and see him. Elder Maxon. Calibration test successful. All fans nominal. Engine turbines at 87%. It's not even here. Is he outside? Did I pass right by him? Is he downstairs? Did he walk down there while I was coming up here? He's moving. Or maybe he already arrived. Can I fly over the top of this? Yeah, we'll just go this way. It's easier. It's nice to have a jet back. Yep. Elder. Is there something on there that I haven't even gotten yet? Eh, who knows. There he is. I was looking for you. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Oh, I'm so ready. You don't even know. Lab rat standing by. All of us are aware of the risks you're taking, and we salute you. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. <laughs> Unless I end up inside Solid Rock. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Now, Indeed, let's hope. I want you to listen very carefully. Uh, Curie, Once please. You've entered the Institute, Dance, please. We expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison oh. Wayne, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. Mm -hmm. I know her. She was in Fallout 3. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult <sighs> to convince her to stay. That said, so you coerced her, right? Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain 
that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. So you want me to force her to come back, then? What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Hmm. What's this project that needs her attention? Sorry, that information is classified. Oh, jeez. I'm sure you understand. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. But what if I meet a strange man who says that he's my son? Ingram? I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor is ready to go. Are you? Well, I'm most ready I've ever been. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. I, I just literally walked away. Refrain from opening fire inside the institute. Not quite it standing could jeopardize on it. our entire mission. Let's you see. Let me move Relays over. Dialed just in. a little bit. Beam oh, emitters no. warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross like your fingers. Oh my god, dance. The code now. Not right now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. <laughs> RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. You have 60%, trouble. 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Do it. Transmitting in three, two, Do it. one. Stay safe, soldier. Doing it. Inside, and nobody came with us. No buttons. I'm without my buttons. Oh. Wait. Uh, let's see what kind of level up we're gonna get. Am I doing charisma? Oh no, I had just finished up the Grim Reaper sprint. What else might I want? All right, I popped down a little more charisma. We're just gonna push charisma to the top, and that way we can hit some of those checks. All right, well, I'm gonna take a break for lunch. Thank you for joining me today. And next time, we're gonna go into the Institute and do the Brotherhood stuff and uh, maybe kidnap Dr. Lee, who knows? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.